Okay, Sean, apparently Premier League predictions are easy. Sean didn't have a good time last year. I did slightly better. I'm going to take that dub. I feel like we drew. I feel like we didn't. Uh, this year, however, a little bit more spicy. Lots of transfers, lots here. We're going to get straight into it. We're going to start at the bottom, rise to the top. You know the drill. Sean, 20th place. Who you got? Southampton. You got Southampton in 20th? Still such a championship side. And their, oh, their style of play is whack. Oh, well, I it's, don't like it. It's whack a doodle. I don't like it. In 20th, I've got Ipswich. Come on, everyone's got Ipswich in 20th. Nah, They're going straight nah, back down. Nah. I'm going to say it now. Sub 20 points whole season. Yeah, see, I did that last season. <laughs> I was close. Right, 19th for me, Nottingham Forest. It's time to go. What is your addiction? But not a forest in the relegation zone. It's thoroughly time to see them back in the championship, as far as I'm concerned. They had such a good window, though. They've brought in so many European players, like people that haven't lit up or ever really played in the Premier League. Like we know how European players play in the Premier League for the first time go. Haaland. No, it's rare for them to slap. <laughs> Haaland grew up in the UK. It's hard for him. It's hard for them to slap. Being from the UK is still European. Nah, not in forest. Going. It's gone. But they signed a six for eight centre back. Don't care. Nineteenth. I've got Ipswich. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I think this is more due to Kieran McKenna will get poached halfway yeah. through the season by a bigger team. Okay. And then leave Ipswich to slowly fall back into the championship. <laughs> I don't think it's that complicated. I just think Ipswich have got an absolute reckoning coming. Yeah. Insert Bain reference. Uh, Eighteen. Don't oh, it's inevitable. They've been dancing with death the last two to three years. Everton. Yeah. Oh. Championship, oh finally. God. They're going to get their new stadium, slip straight into the championship, and then have some sort of like a legacy to fight their way back. Championship for two more years for Everton. Don't know how you think Southampton are staying up. I'm thinking, I think Southampton <laughs> and Leicester stay up, boss. Well, 18th, I've got Leicester. Oh, sorry. Just like last year, all three teams that came up are going back down. No, it's rare for that to happen, man. No, it's not. Last year obviously happened. Yeah. But, uh, and we'll get on to West Ham shortly because, oh my God, Sean. The, I'm so excited for West Ham's transfer. The jump <laughs> is so drastic now from yeah. Championship to Premier League to the point where I think it's not just like a, oh, Leicester are back. Mm. They lost their manager. They yeah. lost their best player. Yeah. They finalised a loan for a guy named Fatawu. They will still stay up. I'm, I'm confident. Absolutely not. However, in 17th, I do have Southampton. Oh, uh, fair play. I think they're going to stay up by the skin of their teeth. I think it's going to be dramatic. I think there'll be a fight between them and Everton. But I think Southampton, they, they placed 15th for so many years. I know they had Ward Prowse, they had, they had better players, but I think they've still got that ingrained. I don't think they go straight back down. I think they stay up for two years. I think if there's any team getting less than 20 points, it's very much Southampton. <laughs> I don't think I agree with that. I can't, I can't, I can't let it happen. 17th, yep. I and Brentford. Really? Yeah. I think one of the big... Very low for Brentford. Yeah, one of the big six will buy Tony in a panic. In January. Oh, okay. Probably Chelsea. Oh, and maybe then, Arsenal. It'd be a good fit, Arsenal. But then Brentford have no one. Mm -hmm. That is true. They won't have anyone. I believe there's a saying about a certain creek and not having a panel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're up here. At 16th, who have you got? Bournemouth. Really? Yeah, replacing Solanke is not enough to send them down, in my opinion. Mm. But I think they'll struggle big time. But yeah. having Zabiani, Sinesi, Lewis Cook and Semenyo still, yeah. I think they'll Probably survive. Okay, well, 16th, I have Wolves because Pedro Neto gone, Max Kilman gone. No one really filling that, those boots that I'm, I, I even know, let alone I'm impressed by. I think, I think Wolves will struggle because they've got a slightly worse team than, than last year now. See, we thought that last year when they sold, you know, all of their players <laughs> yeah. and then somehow they were just better. Yeah, but they still yeah. had Pedro Neto and Wang Yi Chan was cooking, so... Yeah, but like... They lost Ruben Neves, they lost Jao Moutinho. No, definitely. No, that's, that's my bottom five and I'm, I'm sticking to it. And I told you, we're not going to have any in the same place, I'm telling you. 15th? 15th for me is Bournemouth. Uh, oh. You can't get away with selling Solanke and not replacing him properly and expect to do better than last year. I, still, I don't have them going down. I've got. I've heard a lot of people thinking they're going to get relegated. Oh, no, they'll be fine. Mm, we'll see. I like... Um, mm, we'll see. I like Iriola Ball. Yeah. So... I think they should they should remain. Plus, they do still have Semenyo, and we like Semenyo yeah, here at 48 hours. You yeah. see the wall? I mean, if if Bournemouth do get relegated, yeah. Semenyo on the cheap. Semenyo very on much on the cheap. We'll take him. 15th. Oh, oh go on. Yeah, you got 15th, did not you? 15th. I have Brighton. Really? Yeah. That is a hella low score for no, Brighton. No, 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 no. You've t they've taken the linchpin out of Brighton, selling gross. Yeah. Yeah. Grob. That's got <laughs> Grob. Deserby ran into a wall with this team halfway through last yeah. season. Herzler. 
doesn't seem like a magician or a miracle worker in my opinion. I don't think so. So yeah. I'm I'm not seeing fireworks in the Amex. Okay, no, fair that enough. That card's getting declined. I appreciate it. <laughs> and no they got rid take, of Undav. No one takes the Amex. Fourteenth, uh, for me, I have put Brentford. Oh, uh, they've lost. They've now lost David Rea on the permanent. Arsenal mm -hmm. have now signed him. Um, there's not really much else to note of their transfer window, but I think, like you said, Ivan Tony will probably go. But I think I think, I think Ivan Tony will get them to a certain spot where they can coast and they can just desperately try and cling on to points. But they might they might end up with like 40, 50 odd points. Well, I mean, I, predi like I predicted Brentford perfectly last year. Yeah, I said they would be useless, it. and then when Tony comes back, they'd be really good. Was that the only one you predicted correctly? No, <laughs> Man United. United. <laughs> Eight, you've seen it. Eight, Jesus. Fourteenth, and probably the biggest discrepancy between both of us. Yeah, I have Forest. Right. You think they're gonna do something special? They were on fire last season. At the end of it. Yeah, Dragon desperation and, Dragon will do all sorts. out of hell. Yeah, desperation yeah. will do all sorts to you. And the addition of Milenkovic, the six foot eight centre back. Yeah. In defence, and then you've got Elliot Anderson from Newcastle mm -hmm. up top. I think. I think. I don't see them doing any worse. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I, just, I think their standard of football is just going to collapse. I'm not yeah. a big fan. I think there's going to be too, too many people that have come in. <laughs> it's predictions. We've got, to get, we've got to get it done. All right, and then 13th, West Ham. Oh, how? What are you talking about how? They've had the best transfer window out of any club. I disagree. Uh, busy window. Busy window for them. The best. But purely because they have West Fodringham energy in the changing room, they are going to be in 13th place. If they didn't sign him, probably ninth. But no, I'm not having it. It's, they're going to be the lowest performing, like West London. Oh no, they're just going to be a rubbish London club. That old m is not seeing the pitch. <laughs> yeah, he's never seen the pitch. He's not but he's going to the influence pitch. the others in some way. He's going to have a conversation with their keepers, and that's it. That, then they're just going to get worse collectively. Who's your 13th? Palace. Yeah, okay. Palace are a mid-table team, mate. Mid-table FC. Yeah, losing Elise. Mm -hmm. Just absolutely... Yeah, I, I don't know how they expect to do too much better. Like, I don't have them like hugely high up, but I feel like that is just the cut coming down. But they kept Eze mm -hmm. for now. Yeah, we're recording this before the window ends. Yeah, Tottenham are lurking. <laughs> They've kept Mateta. Yeah, they've got Eduard as backup. Mm -hmm. They've got Glasner as their manager. Gahey still. Well, I mean, is a centre back. Yeah, I, I prefer Gahey. He's banging. I prefer Joachim. Yeah, but Gahey you know. had a how. Had a, well, how like Gahey had an absolute blinder for Euros. So that was they great. bought Ismaili Sarr in to replace Elise. Yeah, Watford hero Ismaili mm -hmm. Sarr, good mm -hmm. in the Prem. So I mean, it, there could be like electrics going on there, but also a mid-table team, mate. It could just so, crumble. A mid-table team. I've got them in a nice juicy spot, to be honest. So let's go. Well, Fulham, Fulham, Fulham. So also so majorly. Mid-table. They have the smallest squad. They're, 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 yeah. They got rid of a lot of good players. Not in the height, but in just a number of players. players. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Depth, um, depth is gone. Yeah, shallow end. I mean, if Polina is replaced <laughs> if, if Polina is replaced by the end of this window, yeah. twelfth is the best they can do. Okay. And this was the last team I put in the list. For what? I did it by team oh, instead right, of I see. by like in order of where I think they'll finish. See what you mean. Well for twelfth place I have Leicester. Disgusting. I've had them playing a blinder. Disgusting. It's it's Leicester, mate. You you don't know what to expect. Jamie Vardy has quit the Red Bulls, boss. It could be anywhere, mate. It could they could they could finish anywhere, but I'm putting them twelve. Just I'm I'm putting it here now, right before everyone else has their predictions, and right before the season starts, I reckon they come out with a blind like sixty points. You think twelfth is sixty points? Oh no, okay, it's probably fifty points, isn't it? So... Pretty sure sixty points would have got you top four last season. Only Hana, Eleventh, I have Fulham. Same yeah. reasons. They're just so mid table. Yeah, they've they yeah, they are mid table. Fulham, they sold Tosin to us and they've got rid of Paulinho. I don't I haven't seen any any decent names come in for them. They're gonna be trying some things. They're gonna hope they're gonna pray for mid table and that they're not like sixteenth. Eleventh. Mm -hmm. I have Wolves. If we Ra, you have a good, good season for Wolves. Okay. Skirt in the top. As table. I said, Wolves have shown they can sell any player they want <laughs> and be <laughs> fine. So I'm not going to say no, just getting rid of they're Neto. They're on borrow time at best. They're getting rid of Neto and some basic centre-back. So. I've, I've put Brighton 10th. 10th? I have no comments. Brighton is Brighton 10th. I think that's the lowest they could expect. Brighton in 10th. And the highest, yeah. Uh, you don't like it? Brother, uh, No. Who's your 10th? <laughs> My 10th is Everton. That's the wow. ridiculous one. Wow. There's the ridiculous Go one. Go No. Come on, man. 
You're just doing this for clickbait now. Dominic Calvert Lewin's breakout season is coming. Nah, Dominic Calvert Lewin's breakout season was three years ago. I've waited like six years for this moment. They have more payback. I mean, your favourite player. That Dominic Calvert Lewin <laughs> will win Everton something. Yeah, but more pay might play up front for him instead. No, he's not. He's, <laughs> he's, he's injured, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't know. But Dominic Calvert Lewin will have a good injury free season, huh. score about 18 goals. Sean Dyche has two six foot six plus centre backs. You're jinxing all sorts. So that's just nil nils all over the place. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> nil nils, yeah. Can't see what Carl's can see. And guess who his backup centre back is? James Tarkowski. Oh, uh, yeah, big boy. Nothing's <laughs> going in at no, Everton. Going in. And they've got Jordan Pickford in goal. <laughs> T Rex. Easy. Long shots only. Well, number nine for me, Alice. I've gone top table. I think this will be the best season they've had for a while, but they still won't break into any European spots or really contend. That'll be where I think the points gap is. They'll be between ninth and eighth. I think they'll be like 12 points. You think they can lose their second best player and just be fine? Yeah, they were cooking. Go and have they a were, better season. They were cooking at the end of last season. Their new manager is quite decent. So let's hope it continues. Where I do don't they know finish? what their preseason has been like though. So I need, to, I need to check. Where do they finish if Eze goes to Spurs? Oh, 17. Oh. <laughs> that a, that's a howler all round for them. Ninth. Oh. I have West Ham. Okay, it's a decent season. They've had the best transfer window yeah. out of every club in the Prem. Yeah. They needed a striker. They got Nicholas Fulkrug. <laughs> they needed a centre back. They got Todibo. <laughs> they needed a left winger. They got Crescencio Somerville. Best name in the league, by yes, the way. Somerville's a decent name. Yeah. They've uh so they filled every role they needed. Chelsea take note. Um Did we just fill every we're like water. Yeah, we should fill everywhere. <laughs> Okay, eight for me. I've got Newcastle. Same. On the back. Oh, we have finally got one in the yeah. same spot. Bam, there you go. So I think Newcastle are going to finish eight because uh, they're not taking advantage of their squad depth and selling everyone and then they're not bringing anyone decent. I know they've bought Lewis Hall, but they've had Lewis Hall. He didn't really make, make much of an impact last year. Like, they need some staple players. Who did they buy that was the Italian one that's, that's banned? Tonali. Yeah, they bought Tonali and obviously that was a complete flop from day one. And they've not had any more opportunity to bring in any big name players to get them back up. So I think they'll coast after Christmas. And I wear the shirt. I did used to be a big fan of the Shearer, but uh, yeah, I, just, I just don't think Newcastle got it in them. Shearer! Shearer! Yeah, they've had no good signings. Yeah, none. Absolutely zero. They might lose Agreed. Gordon to Liverpool. Yeah. And at that point, where do they go? Who knows? But um, Liverpool, go, Liverpool get Gordon, mate. Their team's basically fine. Mm. Isak's a goal machine. When Tenali comes back next season, they'll be... They'll, they'll, they'll be better. They'll this be season's chilling. A, this season's a wash for them. They'll well, be I'm chilling saying. like a villain. Who you got in seventh? Spurs. Oh, you're just being mean. If they've the, just got Solanke. If the system doesn't adapt, <laughs> seventh is the best they will get. Yeah, but they, you keep putting them down. like If, if the system <laughs> works, yeah. then we're in business. Yeah, well, not Spur, we. Spur, yeah. Spurs are there. Mm. On, I've literally got written down, on paper, they've got the fourth best team in the league. Oh, like on it paper. just depends on how he utilises them. Yeah. Because Solanke and Son, Solanke's huge as well. Son and Solanke are going to be a great little pair. Son is just Cliver, but good. Yeah. Solanke was really good with Cliver. Mm. They've got James Madison. Exactly. So that is Vicario. a good front three to play with. Van der so. Ven Romero. Yeah. That team's really good. It's a really good team. But they've got Australia they've as got manager. Foster Coglu, who just plays for the fence. In seventh place, Sean. Mm-hmm. I have Manchester United. Wow. Okay. <laughs> no. We know how you we, cannot we know get what rid. Them. You cannot get rid of Varane and Martial, not replace them effectively and expect to do anything. What are you talking about? What are you they've talking replaced, about? They've signed two centre backs to yeah. replace Varane. They haven't replaced. And they've yeah. signed a new striker. Who have they, used, who have they replaced him with? Yoro and Matthias Delict. Yeah, no. Th oh, they got Delict? Yes. Okay, fair well, still. And Joshua Xerxes is Martial's replacement. I still stand by it, mate. Like they're you're they're not going to come They've in. They've just found a new right back as well. They're not going to come in and do anything tasty for me. I think seventh's the best they got. Chatting. I don't think Ten Hag's got it in him to finish Champions Chatting League. Chatting out the side of your mouth, boss. Chatting out the third. I don't think Ten Hag's got what it takes to do anything in the Prem. But they finished last season. Eighth. Damn. What hell? I know. That's a big L for you, boss. <laughs> don't remind me. Okay, sixth. Sean, who you got? Chelsea. Oh, you think we have a rough one. The only reason we're sixth is because yeah. students of Pep <laughs> will not finish lower than sixth. Okay. <laughs> but what about higher? Maybe if the higher. starting eleven stays fit, yeah. we'll be top three. Oh, right, yeah. Maybe. maybe. The starting eleven won't stay fit. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> I don't think the system looks good at all. 
I believe we'll be fighting that mid-table battle again. No, oh, but don't, don't say there's it. something in my heart that won't let me put us lower than six in ninth. <laughs> <laughs> won't let you do it. Well, in uh, in sixth, I have Villa. That's ridiculous. Uh, Douglas Luiz is gone, and Coutinho's gone. So like Coutinho, yeah, player that didn't play a single game last season. Yeah, I know, but he's still one of their quality players. Um, and Ross Barkley's come in. Yeah. And you know they're going to play him. He was brilliant last He was season. cooking for... Yeah, I know. but He, he nearly won player Ross of the Barkley. year. Ross Barkley, yeah, is just one of those players where he'll be on for like three months and then off for the next 60. Like, he's That's just fine. one of them guys. But he was fourth in Premier League player of the year. Yeah, because he surprised everybody. And they came second to last. Exactly. Right. <laughs> he put all the effort in because he was desperate to get a Premier League spot. Yeah, now he he's did. got one. Yeah, yeah now he's did. got one. He's going to take... They also signed the Amadou Onana yeah, from Everton. Yeah, and... He's huge. So he's Belgium's just, captain. That don't mean nothing. He, he captains Belgium over De Bruyne. That don't mean nothing. Lionel yeah. Messi's five six best that's ever done it. Height means nothing. Marouane Fellaini was really good. <laughs> Have you got sick? Tall. I've done sick. All right, fifth for me. I've got Spurs. Fine. Yeah. So I think having Solanke in there with Son. Hold on. The problem I've got. Yeah. Wait. wait, wait. The problem I've got though is that Ange again. Same thing. Ange's system. He's so counter attack prone that. As soon as Van der Ven's not fit, they're they're done because Christian Romero will always run up and Pedro Porro will always run up and they're going to be they're going to be vulnerable at the back all the time. And them at corners, I hope they've been pumping in the corner practice because they just get penetrated. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like corn hub up in here when Tottenham play when it comes to corners. Corn hub, yeah. corner hub. On fifth, Sean, what are you saying? Villa. Oh, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Right. Villa. Okay. Only because Unai Emery will focus on Europe. Yeah. The, the fixture congestion this season yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah, so I hope he's got the depth. They've sold the RB, mm -hmm. not replaced him. Mm -hmm. um, but the rest of the team, exactly phenomenal. Mm -hmm. can't, I can't fault it. Fair enough. The centre backs are a bit washed. Fourth. Live our peel. Yeah, we don't have the same top four. No, that's fine. I know you missed a bearing obvious mid table team. <laughs> Last season, before Liverpool fall into mediocrity again, yeah. for me, this one. Salah and Van Dijk both leave this season. Mm -hmm. And whether it's in January or not, I don't know. Only slot, I've not got a clue if he's ever watched football before. Because <laughs> the way they were playing pre-season... You've not seen, how, no, you've not seen what he's done before? The way they were playing pre-season, it was not football. Yeah, It was, oh, we got a ball? I'm so used to watching Liverpool when they don't have the ball. Press. Just yeah, intensely. Always, always, yeah. Intensely. And now I'm watching Liverpool sit back and as soon as I got oh, the ball, I'll, I'll tell you about launch that. it over the top. I'll tell you about that in a minute because in, in fourth place, I have Manchester City. What has <laughs> No, so bear with me, okay? I think there's going to be major slippage, major slippage, with, yeah, with Man City simply because they're going to be fatigued from all the winning, one. Two, that their backup striker is now gone. Obviously, as you said, Alvarez is gone and... That is going to have, he's going to put all the pressure on Haaland and obviously Bernardo Silva and um, Phil Foden and all the players that are expected to perform all the time. They now don't have, and Alvarez scored loads of goals last year. Like big important moments when Haaland wasn't cooking. So I'm saying it now, I might be the only one saying it, but Man City barely scraped Champions League. I think, they, I think they're going to rest on their laurels here because I haven't seen an interesting window. I've seen Alvarez leave. It's just, I don't think they're going to start cooking. Obviously, when they play Chelsea and we draw, inevitably, I might have to shut up, but here we are. When they win the league again? Win. They're not going to win fourth. For the fifth year in a row. Fourth place, trust me. You, what, have, what? you, have, you have to do something, boss. What? Because what you've just said is outrageous. What? <laughs> you've got to do something. <laughs> There's no way you're getting they, away if, with saying Man City coming the league, fourth. If they win the league, I will shave every hair off of my head. Ridiculous. Wait, let me let me just let me just let me just pop. Okay. Fair play. However, if they come forth, I'll shave my head. Every hair off your head. Yep. Done. I mean, I, I don't have a beard to shave, do I? <laughs> Eyebrows. That's the lot. I shave them by accident. <laughs> Eyebrows. The lot. You heard it here first. Forty-eight hours. You see the wall. You know where you are. You're watching the vid. You've just. That's. Ridiculous. There is baldness. I'm talking alopecia level baldness on the line. Okay? That is. I can't Back believe Back to the boys. That. Okay. They're they're tired from winning. Oh, they no, haven't, I think like they have won everything four years on the bounce. I think complacency will set in hard. By yes. the way, they're also going to go and sign another striker. I don't care. Complacency <laughs> will hit them hard. Watch. Third. Third for you? Arsenal. Okay. You their, think a slippage for them Their too. team looks exactly the same as last year. Mm -hmm. 
They were awful in the second half of last season. Okay. Calafiori adds nothing in my eyes. Understood. I mean, if you want to play four centre backs, that's Pochettino ball. Don't copy it. <laughs> Didn't work. Didn't work. Not in the Prem. But I mean, like they need to sign someone to play up front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they Cause... need. They needed Solanke, or they need Ivan Tony, or they needed to reach in and grab someone from Europe that likes scoring goals. Oh, they should have taken Lukaku from us. But no. No. We They're want playing Havertz at nine. Yeah, they are. And that's what they'll stick that's with. There's just no goals for us. But they do also have Saka, Erdegaard, uh, Salibro, Gabriel. Yeah, they do, yeah. They've got two really good goalkeepers. Yeah, they've still got the lifeblood of their team. They haven't lost any of... They've only got rid of any more Smith Rowe, who was a bit player anyway. Yeah. So... I think that's I, I, put, I put Arsenal second, so we'll get to that in a second. The third for me is is the mighty Chelsea. Okay. okay. I thought I'd, for a second. I've gone optimistically. No, no, no. I'm not for saying we're in the league. No way, no way, no way. But that, that does mean, number one, I've got Liverpool. But I, we'll get to that. Okay, so I'll, I'll explain that why. That would have been a four-red I'll explain. <laughs> Chelsea to win the I'll explain why. Okay, right. So Chelsea in third. Obviously, we've not cooked in pre-season. I think he might be doing it on purpose because that's some pep shit. Last, okay. time, last time we bottled a pre-season this bad, we won the Champions League. Exactly. So, so I, I'm just saying that we're not in the Champions League. but that's We're in the, the Conference League. Yeah, like, we, we win that. Just in my, We'll do that as a separate thing. Playing Wi-Fi passwords. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I think Chelsea, huge bias. Obviously, I don't care. But um, I see good things coming with this team. If the starting 11 stay fit, that is a naughty starting 11. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially Neto, if, it, if Lavia's up, Caicedo's obviously in there. We've got Tos in now, so we've got height at the back. Like we've got, he's, he's big as well. He's at six six, six seven, mm -hmm. something like that. So I, I then say Arsenal, lifeblood. They haven't lost anything. I think they're going to keep pushing, keep pushing. Arteta's hungry, but he is going to be the bridesmaid, never the bride. His whole life, that boy. I don't think he ever wins the league with Arsenal, but it is what it is. Right. I've got two teams left. <laughs> okay, and then I obviously then put Liverpool at the top because I know what Arnie Slot's doing. He's playing random football in the preseason. He's letting the boys figure out what they like, oh, okay. play their way. Okay. He's done this before. I've actually done some research on this geezer. And after a while, he's going to go, okay, this works with him, this works with him, this works with him. He's going to get his favourite, like, 15, so starting 11 and four subs, and he is going to hammer them in and start doing, like, what, what you'd call German-efficient football. Like I think Liverpool will surprise us all. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a weird one for me, but it's... You'll see why after about four games when Liverpool have lost one and then won three by three or more goal. Like that's that's the kind of that's the prediction I'm putting out there. Liverpool are gonna be slapping. So would, that is my four three two one. Bam. Sean. Would I dare? Four three two one, who is it? Would I dare back to back Man United to win the league? You wouldn't. Would I do that? You wouldn't. Please would. don't. They've signed so many good players, Carl. Do Go on. In second. You say Man United. I have Manchester United. Oh my God. Ten Hag got given his Dutch revolution that he wanted. Yeah. Finally. No, they've just swapped wan for Masraoui, basically. Mm. wan going to West Ham. Yeah. Hello. Masraoui coming from Bayern with Delict. Okay. So, Ten Hag with a load of Dutch players. Cook it. Maybe, but in the Prem. It it's just has to happen. Yeah, we'll see. Man United have to have a good season yeah, at I some point, I and I will predict it. Yeah, no, he's second, though. Yeah, because Which obviously means that because no, I one. would be an idiot yeah. if I didn't predict City <laughs> to win the league, considering they've done it four years in a row. Yeah, no, you can't. Like five years in a row is just ludicrous. De Bruyne doesn't age. Yeah, Haaland is a cheat code, mm -hmm. and Bernardo Silva is now entering his sixth year of his prime. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Their defense. There's no holes. Yes, but what happens between... Who do you start, Edison or Ortega? Edison. Yeah, they are arguing all kinds of over the place. No, they're not. Edison's a proper diva. Ortega isn't even like top seven German keepers in the world right now. Yeah, understood. Edison no. is at least top two Brazilian. Yeah, but he played a blinder. Edison would start for Germany. Mm -hmm. Ortega would get kicked in the head for Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's it, guys. That's our Prem predictions. What do you think? Get in the comments. See what you put. Put your predictions in there. We'll rate yours as well in a reaction video to our own one. Transfer window-ish. Not transfer window. Christmas sort of time. And then uh, we'll go from there. But that's the list. Tell us what you think. And as always... So all, mate. Oh yeah, ours. If you get 100 likes on this video, we will recreate last season's best Premier League goal.